Today, let's talk about the Ricoh Theta Z1 as euro. Not as euro actually. It has been quite a while since my previous Theta Z1 video, but today I do have something to share with you, especially about the dual fish eye plugin. Back in August in year 2020, the dual fish eye plugin has its latest update that adds more features that are compatible with the dual fish eye remote control, you know, Android devices, exporter compensation, and to remote turn it on and off by your app once you have Wi-Fi connect with your camera. But I didn't get these features with uh, update to the latest version for the app. And today I have found the solution is that you're gonna have to install this dual fish eye remote control app on your Android devices if you are an existing user of this app and reinstall from the Google Play App Store and remember to update the dual fish eye plugin to the latest version on the CETA plugin store. And after that, when you have opened this app once again, you're gonna see this exciting new features such as uh, this on and off button here and in single mode, bracket and burst mode, now you're gonna have exporter composition. You can select to zero to minus four. That is a wide range of change in the exporter composition. These features will make your dual fish eye plugin much more powerful. And more importantly, you can also see the remain space in your camera life. So now let's take a look at how does it work. The first time you can open the state Z1. Next one, you can just open a Wi-Fi cell phone and connect to this state Z1 hotspot. You don't have to go long press and mode, go to dual fish eye plugin and turn on the Wi-Fi. So the first moment you could connect with your state Z1, you can just tap this button. And do you see that? You can just tap the button, you can see the plugin successfully has been created, running, and you are now in the dual fish eye plugin. And after you have connected with the plugin, you can see, uh, you can also see the remain storage in the final shot. For example, let's take a single shot, and you can see that. You're gonna see the every settings with the exposure, the 20 gigabyte available in my C21. Single mode, bracket mode, burst mode, you have more settings. In the single mode, you can select to JPEG or DNG. In bracket mode, now you can see you can set the EV offset to zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Bracket the burst, you also select this shot. For the HDR DNG, there is only aperture and shoot count because the ISO will be locked to ISO 80, and there is actually no need to use export value anymore. Once you have finished your job, you can turn off the plugin camera, the plugin will exit automatically once the first time you have pressed the shutter button. So this is very convenient. That is to say, every time when I want to take a high quality photo outside, I can just power on, put it on my selfie stick, and leave this there. And I, once I'm ready, just Wi-Fi control with the CD1, run the plugin and control, and take the shot. So with, with this turn, on, on and off feature, not only that will make your work more efficient, but also that will give your dual fish eye plugin a live preview capability because you can always switch back and forth, switch to the official app. You can see that I have already exit and you can see you can use the live preview in the final shot to estimate to find the best viewpoint. There's a tip for you. After that, remember to exit to false close in the backstage and go to dual fish eye plugin again and run this plugin and this will work and once you have running the app and do fish eye plugin remote control at the same time your cd1 will gonna crash my phone has a split screen effect that you say i can use a multi-screen and see as uh, close this plugin and go to my app see the line preview and once i'm satisfied with the final result i can close my app Go to do fish eye, and know all that. Continue our job. So that is a very good combination with a live preview in the official feature and the most powerful features in the do fish eye plugin. To wrap up on this feature, troubleshooting tips for you is that if you're existing user, just uninstall and reinstall the do fish eye remote app. You're gonna get the latest feature of the do fish eye plugin if you have already upgraded. To the latest version. With this feature, you can go back and forth between the official line preview and dual fish eye plugin to enable to have give you a line preview 
capability in your C to Z1 at the same time with all the great features in the Dofish Eye plugin. Last but not least, I also express my thanks to Yoshi Hirota, the great third party developer behind the C to Z1. I hope in this video you can learn something about C to Z1 and Dofish Eye plugin and master the C to Z1 better than before. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So more to come in the future about C to Z1. Stay tuned. Until next time, bye.